Welcome back, Star Wars fans. This time we're going to have a look at Bosk, the bounty hunter from the Star Wars Power of the Force toy line from the 1990s. Uh, this is three and three quarter inch scale. And Bosk, of course, the Trandoshan bounty hunter that makes exactly one appearance in the Star Wars films, and that's in The Empire Strikes Back on board the Death Star when all the bounty hunters show up. And hence was born one of the more popular characters in the comics. And in other media, Bosk is very prevalent, uh, not so much in the uh, films. He, he has a speaking line, but I have absolutely no idea what he says. Uh, but there you go. Now, uh, this is a cool action figure, pals. Uh, of course, Bosk was available in the Kenner line as well, I'm almost positive. And he's been reproduced a dozen times at least since then, to my knowledge. So uh, uh, let's uh, take this for what it was, which was the first new Bosk we'd seen in... 15 years, probably. So, good paint applications, good sculpting. Now, does this look just like Bosk the Trandoshan from the films? Well, the arms certainly do. They did a good job with the arms and the, you know, the three-fingered claws there. Uh, they even figured out a way to uh, allow him to grip his blaster. That's excellent. That's excellent engineering right there. Uh, yeah, that's okay. It's okay. The, the paint applications on the face look pretty good. Uh, now, he... he this flight suit is very similar to the uh, Rebel pilot flight suit, except it's molded in, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's yellow rather than orange or green or red. And uh, it even has those uh, stylized straps down there on the legs sculpted and painted on this. That's pretty good. And as you can see, he's not wearing boots. Trandoshans don't wear boots. And uh, famously, you couldn't equip gloves or boots in the Star Wars Galaxy's video game as a Trandoshan. Now, it comes with two accessories. And for once, I'm not going to say the second accessory is a waste of plastic. Uh, this one's actually kind of cool, but he has the uh, pistol, blaster pistol, that I've got in this hand, and I'll go ahead and take this one off. And I might even display him with this one. He has this pretty pretty keen uh, blaster rifle with the stock on the back of it. That I don't know if that's a, a canonical Bosk weapon or not, but it you know, the strap on it here, it easily just goes here on his shoulder, and we can just leave it there. And that looks okay on display like that. Uh, now, I'm not certain if that's supposed to be there, that black dot. Uh, actually, now looking at it through the lens of the camera, that has a contour in the middle. Okay, okay. I, uh, the 2-1-B droid had a rogue splotch of paint on it. I was sort of afraid that that's something we're going to have to start watching out for on these figures. For what it's worth, I can't see the, the rogue paint with my own eyes. Only It's only through the lens of the camera here, you know, magnified, am I able to notice stuff like that? But I believe that's okay. I believe that's supposed to be there. I believe that's part of the ensemble. That might be the neatest paint app on it. That might be a sticker. That might be a, a, a stamp or something. But that that's pretty sweet right there. Does he have... Yeah, he has something very similar on this shoulder as well. That, that looks really good. It's a, it's a really cool... Now, I'm, I'm led to believe that sometimes he wears some sort of dome on his head because of the collar around there that, that was like a sealed system. But we're getting into Star Wars lore there. I don't, I don't know if that's the case or not. Now, as far as articulation, it's the same as most other figures. Pretty tight joints on this one, but he poses quite well. Arms, hips, head, and at the waist. He, uh, he swivels at the waist. So uh, I think that's a really cool action figure. Uh, one of my early goals with this, collecting these Power of the Force figures, was to collect all the bounty hunters, and uh, at the time of this filming, as long as the transaction uh, I just actioned last night goes through without a hitch, uh, that that goal will be met. We'll have all the bounty hunters, and we'll do a feature on the bounty hunters from this line at some point, uh, but uh, uh, this one was actually one of the easier ones to find. Five bucks. I paid no more than five bucks for this, pals, and I'm going to say that again and again, and maybe it'll stick. Uh, people charging more than five dollars a piece for these are grossly overvaluing how much these things are worth okay now that may change in the future as the years roll by but uh, you know in the summer of 2023 you can find anything of these from these carded power of the force figures for five bucks or less okay you just something you just gotta be patient and you have to uh you have to know where to look okay and uh here's a tip ebay is not the place to look for them all right uh, not always. If you get, buy huge lots, you can get some good deals on eBay, but otherwise, not so good. But there he is, pals. Bosk, one of the bounty hunters. Uh, uh, 
I, I, I like the figure just fine. I think it's really cool. And uh, next time, who are we looking at next time? Uh, a Hoth Rebel soldier. So stay tuned for that. May the Force be with you, pals. And I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.